Hi and welcome, in today's video we will be discussing Microsoft Loops, an overview of what it is and what it includes. So Microsoft announced the release of Microsoft Loops at an Ignite event a couple weeks ago. Microsoft Loops has been designed for the new Windows 11 updates. This new Office app has been created with the intention of optimising the hybrid working environment, as communications have moved to online meetings and chats. Digital content has rapidly increased and with this comes a demand for more flexible and fluid tools to allow individuals to deliver impactful messages and collaborate in their own spaces. It describes itself as a powerful, flexible canvas with portable components that move freely and stay in sync across applications. It has been designed to help you think, plan and create. The video that's on the screen now was released by Microsoft to give an insight of what it was all going to look like, so let's get stuck in with what the new Office app brings to the table. Microsoft Loops is made up of three core elements, workspaces, components and pages. So let's go ahead and get started off with workspaces. Workspaces allows for you and your team to see and be able to group everything important to your projects, making it easier to catch up on what everyone has been working on and bringing this together in one space no matter where you are working from. In these workspaces you can coordinate all the fluid components and work together on projects as you can see in the demonstration video. The second element we are looking at is components. Now if you managed to watch our Microsoft Teams update back in July we showed you the new fluid components. Now this is a kind of evolution of that concept. So what are they? These fluid components are interactive live elements that can be shared across other Office applications. We have seen it in Teams and it can also be added to platforms such as OneNote and even Outlook. Microsoft have already released some of these interactive components by adding three brand new ones. The first one is the one that we can see on our screen, which is a voting table. This is designed to boost productivity by making it easier for teams to bring ideas together, drive consensus and finalise decisions together. The next component is a status tracker. This has been described as a tool which will help you gather information from your team, track progress towards all aspects of your project and always maintain an up-to-date status across your team. Now the last component is being able to share whole projects within the app you use. This is aimed to make your workflow easier and again boost team collaboration and productivity. So last but not least is loop pages. These have been described as a flexible canvas enabling you to organise your live components. Within this you have the ability to share files, links and data as well as collaborate in real time. Pages are containers for loop components. Users can organise and lay out their fluid components in a way that makes sense to them. So loops looks as if they're really going to make an advance in the hybrid working environment and it is said that the components across Microsoft 365 apps like Teams, Outlook and OneNote will start rolling out this month and the release of the app itself will be disclosed in the upcoming months. So that's everything for today's video, we hope it was insightful, be sure to check out our other videos and subscribe for more tips and tricks.